chef loves his kitchen and our chef Randy does as well, especially when it's outside. Have a look at the backyard oasis he and his wife Catherine designed. Hey, hey City Line, line. welcome, welcome to, to our backyard, backyard oasis. oasis. We've been under renovation for four years and this was Catherine's really big project. It's been a bit of two years. In Since the, the beginning of COVID. Finally done. Yeah. And no, happy. no, it's not done. Oh, the outside is done. <laughs> The outside is done? Maybe. And you're finally happy out here? I'm so happy out here. So the house was built in the 60s, and when Catherine moved in, it, it still looked like it. So she's been madly renovating everything, and the number one thing on your list was a pool. Totally. I've always wanted a pool. I've always been a water person, and I never thought it was going to happen, but here we are. The home is mid-century and it's a ranch style bungalow so we had to keep with the mid-century vibe but everybody that walks in here says Palm Springs. This is my favorite spot. This was the perfect place to put the loungers. It gets sun all day long uh, but you won't catch Randy here very often. He's usually hiding under the pavilion. Let me just karate chop my cushions. It's not that I don't like sun. I only like it for about six minutes, and then I need to go in the pool or, or get some shade. Yeah. I wish I had gotten one of these earlier, because really, when you have a hardscape space, you really need a leaf vacuum, because otherwise you're just blowing dust all over the place, and then everything's dirty, so. Look at this. <laughs> it's like having a shop back outside. <laughs> Catherine's the cleaner. I am the cleaner. I like everything <laughs> clean. <laughs> and we just recently got this. It's a wood-fired pizza oven. And, you know, it's magical. You start the fire up and you can cook pizzas. You can cook almost anything in there. The outdoor kitchen was really what the whole purpose of the pavilion was. And we built this gorgeous island because chefs love islands. And because it was covered, we were able to really splurge and go with Cambria. This is the Bentley, and it's just the white on the black that just mirrors the colors of the house. I love stone, I love islands, I love big sinks. Those are the things that all professional cooks love at their house because we like to put plates out and we like to entertain for a lot of people. But the big sink and the sprayer, you gotta have that at home. Get rid of those dividers. No one, you, how do you get a big pot in there? Let's get the big sink. And then if you're not cooking, you can fill up the big sink full of ice and champagne. That's a good time. It is a good time. Ah, so good! Can we give it up for this backyard? Oh my god! Thank you. Beautiful space. I loved everything about it. I noticed that you had a little bit more hair back then. What was going on? I like the stash. It comes and goes, you it know. Comes it and surprises goes. sometimes. It just you look yourself in the mirror and you're like, that's gonna stay for a little while. Yeah, and you liked it, but yeah. are you feeling cold a little bit? No, oh, you know, like are you it okay? does it, it that's about the maximum length after yeah. once it starts getting itchy, then it's gotta go. Right? And, you know, stuff gets trapped in there. Catherine starts cleaning my mustache <laughs> next, and it's like okay. With the vacuum. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So absolute cute. best. You both look absolutely glamorous in Thank that space. You. I've been there. Your wedding was in that backyard. I wanted to jump in the pool, but we were dressed too cute. So let, it's, been, later. it's been about four <laughs> years, right? Yes. So is there anything left to do? Because that looked pretty much done to me. Oh, no. The basement's been under construction for the last four months. Okay. It's, oh, it's so painful. Renovations are painful. They but are. you know what? At the end of the day, when they're done, that's when you get the happiness and you get to live in it and you get to do it. And I always said, if you're going to sell the house, which we're not planning on selling, yeah. do the renos first and live the renos and enjoy the renos, and then you can reap the rewards later when you sell the house. I agree 100%. Yeah. Try and get it done. Uh, the best thing you've made in that pizza oven, do you remember? Oh, uh, a turkey, a mustard oh, and tarragon yeah. turkey, whole turkey spatchcock. Ooh. Crazy. Very Crazy nice. Delicious. You can do everything in that oven, huh? Yeah. Nice, Randy. So we'll all be over. I'll get the address. <laughs> and we'll just be swimming we'll one morning. I'll turn the okay. pool up.